Hello and welcome to Ag Igniter. This is the lecture number four on position and orientation of a frame. So first we have to describe what is position and orientation. The position and orientation of a rigid body are the attributes to describe or specify the object in the coordinate system. So let us consider a body, a random body. This is the body A. Let us consider this is the origin of A and at this point O, we attach the reference frame. This is the axis XA of the reference frame. This is the axis of Y of a frame A and this one is the reference axis ZA. So here the body is this is the body represented by a the body a and we attached a cartesian coordinate frame with uh, to this body x a y a z a are the axes of this uh, cartesian coordinate system now we are considering here this is the point p which is situated on the body situated on the rigid body and we have to find the position of this point P with respect to body frame A. This is the, this is the frame A. Now we want to, this is the frame A. Now we want to find the position of point P with respect to this frame A. So we know that in a Cartesian system, we can easily identify the position and orientation of any object. Say this is the point P and the position is, this is the length and we can easily measure this length. Say this is the axis X and this is the axis Y. So we measure this vertical distance uh, along the y axis. So this is the distance y. Uh, we can write uh, py. This is the distance py. And here, this is the distance we can measure along the x axis is represented by px. So in a two dimensional system, we can easily specify the position of point p with respect to the given axis. So in similar manner, we can easily specify point P in a three dimensional space with respect to X, Y and Z axis in a similar manner. So we can write the position of a point with respect to frame A is given by PX distance from the X axis. PX is the distance from the X axis. PY distance from the y axis and pz distance from the z axis. This is the distances measured with respect to z axis. Uh, if we can write in a matrix form, so this, this uh, above equation can be written as px py, pz. So this equation number one, this equation number one gives the, gives the information how we can define any point position on a rigid body with reference to the frame attached to the same body. So we refer this equation number one to specify the position of any point on a rigid body with reference to the frame attached to the same body. Now, case number two is let us consider this is the body B. This is the body B. 
and we have to find the position of a point p with respect to the reference frame with respect to the reference frame so first uh, we have attached a body frame and a reference frame to this body and uh, we are considering the reference frame and body frame the reference frame reference ref stand for the reference frame say reference frame a is the reference frame and body frame and body frame and body frame b are coincide to each other coincide to each other so this is the uh, this is the assumption or uh, say this is the case number 1 so we are considering this is the origin of a uh, rigid uh, this is the origin of a frame reference frame say this is the reference frame denoted by a x a y a z a x a y a z a is the origin of a reference frame now we can draw uh, another frame this is the body frame this is the y v b stand for the body frame this is the z b and this is the x a x p so here we uh, here we can easily also there is a some rotation there is a some rotation so the body frame is rotated some angle with respect to x a and we want to calculate or we want to uh, find the position of p with respect to a this is our uh, motto how we can identify the position of point p with respect to reference frame a so what we do first the step one first identify identify the position of p with respect to b identify the position of p with respect to b so how we can identify this uh, position of p with respect to b we are using equation number 1 this is our equation number 1 so we can derive how we can define a uh, define the position of any point on a body with respect to the body frame here a is a body frame here a is a body frame but in a second case the body frame is represented by a b the body frame is represented by a b so we are using equation number 1 directly to identify the position of p with respect to the body frame so this is the equation p of x p of y and p of z this is the position of p with respect to b this is our equation number 1 now we are defining the relationship or we have to identify the relationship between the frame a and b identify the relationship between the relation uh, second step is uh, we are interested to identify the relationship between the frame a and frame b so by using the following step 
we can easily identify the relationship between the frame a and frame b first we have find the relationship between the uh, a along the x axis the uh, relationship of a x axis of a frame b with respect to frame a is written as r11 xa xa is the unit vector of a frame a plus r21 of a y a plus r31 of a z a now second is i can write a uh, previous equation again here for our convenience now <clears throat> similar manner we can write uh, the relationship between of a frame b along the y axis with respect to the frame a is written as r12 x a plus r22 y a plus r32 z a. and similarly the position of a uh, frame b along the z axis with respect to frame a is written as r13 x a plus r23 y a plus r33 Z A. X A, Y A, Z A are the unit vectors along the x axis, y axis, z axis of a frame A. This equation gives the relationship between the x A and y A means here we can easily uh, observe that there is some angular change between the frame A and frame B. here is a angular change between the frame a and frame b that means this relationship shows the angular change means rotation this this equation gives the rotation rotational information between the two frames so we can write rotation between the two frames the rotation of b with respect to a which is equal to, which is which is equal to x b a y b a and z b a and uh, this is equal to r11 r12 R one three, R two one, R two two, R two three, R three one, R three two, R three three. here we uh, ignoring the unit vectors after omitting the unit vectors we can get this equation this is the rotational equation or we can say the uh, this is the relationship between the frame a and frame b or uh, this is the rotational equations and we want to interested to calculate the position of p 
with respect to a frame so uh, this uh, thing first we have to calculate the position of p with respect to v this is the position of p with respect to v uh, this is our equation number second we can we uh, here we easily identify the position of p with respect to v now we are uh, find the we are interested to find the position of p with respect to a so we know the position of b with respect to b then uh, by using equation number 2 and this is our equation number 3 this is our equation number 3 by combining these two equation equation number 2 and equation number 3 gives the position of p of a, with respect to frame a or we can write the position of p with respect to frame a so here this is the meaning first we have to find the position of p with respect to b then we find the position uh, b with respect to a or we can write directly the position of p with respect to b so here we can write this is the rotation matrix which shows the relationship between the a and b multiplied by the position with respect to b this is the simplest equation this is our answer equation number 4 is our answer so we are using uh, this equation directly if we find a situation like this how we can define this position this, uh, this is a fixed frame this is a fixed frame and uh, we provide uh, some uh, bearing say we can uh, take the example of bearing and this part can be rotated and we are interested to identify the position of point p we are interested to find the this is the point p which is mounted on a body b this one is the body b body b uh, can be rotated and this is the body a which is the fixed body a is fixed and body b can rotate it along the z axis this is the rotation axis this is the rotation axis Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.